Let's start at the Chevy High Desk with Jeff and Scott Morse. Yeah, the very latest, and this just happening moments ago, uh, Glendale City Council meeting to decide whether to cover the NHL losses to keep the Coyotes in Phoenix. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly spoke about 30 minutes ago, Scott. Yeah, he called the insurance policy a hypothetical, something they likely will not need. He said he expects a transaction that takes place in a matter of weeks and to close in the fall. He said they can work with either group, Ice Edge or Reinsdorf, but mm -hmm. Reinsdorf is the only group that's in the house tonight. And uh, the floor is now open. Phoenix Coyotes fans are speaking, making their pleading keep the Coyotes in Phoenix. The seven-member council will vote. It looks, Ron, like it should be unanimous. And let's send it to Scott Oka, GM Place. Scott. Ron, thanks very much. Yes, with Commissioner Gary Bettman. So let's start with this. This has been framed as a black and white issue and that if uh, Glendale City Council does not vote tonight to cover the operating losses, uh, should the NHL have to run the team again next season that the team will move? Well, let, let's, Is it that simple? Let's, let's back up uh, a little bit because I think there's been way too much hysteria. People didn't drop out of the bidding this week. People didn't get in and then drop out. Uh, we have been working with the city of Glendale to deal with the fact that what they say they're prepared to do, uh, they can't do for 60 or 90 days, and we can't be in a situation where it all falls apart in July or August because then we'd be stuck for another year. So we're not asking them to fund the losses as an absolute. We're saying if you don't do what you say you're going to do so that these clubs can be sold, then if we have to stay another year, we, we want the losses to be funded. And obviously, we can't allow ourselves to be in a position where we're stuck in an untenable situation. Just clarify uh, for us, Gary, who is still in the mix here? Ice Edge, we're told, has walked away because they can't get exclusivity. Reinsdorf is in the room tonight, or at least rep his representatives are. I, Who's I, in it right my, now? My, my belief, and it seems to change by the moment, and it isn't as has been depicted over the last few days, Anyone who's interested, including both groups that you've mentioned, are waiting to see what the council does with us because nothing else matters if they can't get it resolved from a league standpoint. And so that's why nobody wanted to spin their wheels, spend money on lawyers or anything else, spend the time negotiating until they knew that the club could be in place pending the resolution of all the open issues. Okay, based on what Scott and uh, Jeff just said on the iDesk, it doesn't look promising for Winnipeg. And now to the part of the interview that you can't wait for. Um, Winnipeg has an owner. It has a building, and you know a lot of fans you, you, are... You, you say that's true. Nobody has confirmed that in Winnipeg for sure. What I will confirm <laughs> is that over the years, uh, we've had an interest expressed from Winnipeg, and I think that's great, but we're not going to us address that interest by taking away a franchise from another club. If we can fix it in Phoenix, great, and which is what we've been trying to do for the last year. And if we can't fix it, then we'll look at our options. Think, and obviously, yeah. Winnipeg is one of them. Yeah. You, have, you have the Ron McLean tendency. You like to jump in. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get this Winnipeg thing in here. Well, because we could, you're, you're from Winnipeg. Correct. And I, understand. And I know you cannot unreasonably raise the expectations of and I, Winnipeg. And I don't want it's to happened do it. over the years, and I'm very sensitive to that, believe you me. But isn't Winnipeg the most likely destination for the Phoenix Coyotes if they have to move? Given the ownership group there, a potential ownership group is attractive and there is a good building. You are a very good journalist the way you phrase that. You know, if, <laughs> if we have to move a franchise, if we have to move the Coyotes, obviously there is an equitable fairness point to be made over if the team has to go somewhere, certainly the place it came from should be given strong consideration. But to go beyond that right now, to confirm which options we're considering, I don't want to raise anybody's expectations because the thing we've been consistent about going back years, but in this case going back over a year, is we try not to move franchises if we can avoid it. On that topic, uh, we could argue uh, the amount of money that's been lost by the Phoenix Coyotes over the years, but we can conclude this. It's been a lot. Why do you continue to believe that hockey is viable in the Arizona desert? We were watching a game here tonight, a pretty good game. The first period was spectacular. Uh, and the Chicago Blackhawks, I think, were second to last in the league in attendance three, four years ago, losing tons and tons of money. And now look at the franchise now. These things can be turned around, and when a team hasn't iced a competitive product for a long period of time, fans take it out on the team. They've done it in places like Calgary and Edmonton and Ottawa and Buffalo and Pittsburgh, and you see those are all examples of teams that are doing quite well now. Final point, we have just a few seconds left. You have said repeatedly that uh, part of your mission as commissioner of the NHL is to keep the franchises where they are and keep them all healthy. 
How would you feel if the coyotes had to move? How would you feel personally? I would feel that we had done everything possible to make it work and circumstances got away from themselves. This is a team that never should have been in bankruptcy and a lot of things over the last year and a half were done to this franchise to make it very difficult to accomplish what we're trying to do. But we're giving it the best fight we can as we did in Ottawa, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, as we did when we've had other struggling franchises. Thank you for your time, Gary. Appreciate it. Good to be with you. Obviously, there is an equitable fairness point to be made over if the team has to go somewhere, certainly the place it came from should be given strong consideration. Let's check into the Chevrolet Eye Desk with Jeff Merrick and Scott Morrison. Yeah, it's uh, it's over. Glendale City Council, Ron, voting unanimously to cover the NHL losses should a transaction not be completed. The motion has passed. Unanimous. Seven love. And they put a cap on it of $25 million. Right. That's how deep they are willing to go. Uh, Bill Daly said tonight that he expects a transaction to uh, take place before the end of June. Mm -hmm. He said the league is willing to deal with both groups, Ice Edge and Jerry Reinsdorf, although Reinsdorf was the preference, the right. most recent preference. At the bottom line, Bill Daly said the team will not be moving. Yeah, the team will not be moving to Winnipeg, so two Canadian teams eliminated tonight.